can the brain really respond to music as if it were medicine? Can science prove the healing capacity of sound? Neuroscientists at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City have used musical compositions to reduce pain in children undergoing treatment for a rare form of cancer. This is the story of how one of the most exciting medical and scientific discoveries of our time was made. In early summer of 2013 in New York City at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, a group of children were undergoing treatment for neuroblastoma, a very rare type of cancerous tumor that affects fetal nerve cells including the adrenal glands and lymphatic nervous system. These children needed to receive high doses of pain medication in an attempt to relieve the pain associated with their life-saving treatment. Even at the maximum allowed dose, however, pain is still an undesirable side effect. Neuroscientists Dr. Sonia Sakera and Dr. Mahudan Ahmed developed a unique protocol that consisted of listening to and rhythmically vocalizing mantric sounds while meditating with certain music composed by Dr. Joseph Michael Levery. The results were nothing short of astounding. Working with these musical compositions significantly reduced pain, resulting in a 14% reduction of administered pain medication after just a single session. The study revealed that the brain can respond to the right type of music as if it were medicine. These pilot findings were so substantial that this study was published in the Journal of Pediatric Oncology and Hematology. A grant has since been awarded to support further research. The research will focus on how this particular music and sound meditation affects pain, anxiety and outcome for pediatric patients undergoing major surgeries as part of their cancer care. We know that listening to our favorite songs can improve our mood. But what makes the healing melodies in this study have such a profoundly beneficial effect? When we take a closer look at the form and structure of these healing musical compositions, the answer begins to reveal itself. The first track used in the study contains an ancient combination of healing sounds precisely arranged with the therapeutic melody of Pachelbel's canon. In a fascinating mathematical connection, the classical canon progression by Johann Pachelbel was discovered to have a dihedral symmetry by associate professor of mathematics at Loyola Marymount University, Alyssa Kranz, who translated the melody into a mathematical equation for which she won the National Merton M. Huss Prize in Mathematics. Incredibly, this type of symmetry is found in nature's many expressions, from the shape of a snowflake to the body of a starfish and even in the conformation of DNA molecules during protein synthesis. The canon's many healing qualities were actually measured in a study conducted at the Monash University in Australia. It was found that the simple act of listening to Pachelbel's canon prevented increases in anxiety, blood pressure and heart rate in the midst of being exposed to a variety of cognitive stressors. There are also preliminary findings based on the work of Dr. Goldberger of Harvard Medical School that suggest cardiac patients that listen to Pachelbel's canon experience improved and more organized heart rhythms. To go beyond the melody itself, the unique musical formula applied in the Memorial Sloan Kettering study magnifies the therapeutic benefits of Pachelbel's canon. By design, Dr. Joseph Michael Levery incorporated layers of certain vowel sounds and melodic elements that correspond to energetic frequencies. These frequencies were specifically chosen for their individual healing qualities. The music is intricately structured according to mathematically defined tones and meter, creating a new musical composition that directly supports the healing process. The second piece of music used in the research contained the sacred words, I am, I am, combined with a unique healing melody. The power of I am as a tool for meditation and self-improvement has been extensively spoken about by Joel Osteen, Deepak Chopra, Eckhart Tolle, the late Wayne Dyer, Oprah, and many other visionaries. 
Today, everyone can experience the mental, emotional, and physical benefits of this breakthrough research by listening or meditating with Dr. Joseph Michael Levery's Healing Beyond Medicine music series. These two therapeutic pieces of music are also being used during the global gatherings for peace and healing led by Dr. Levery, including the 2017 event which united over 318,000 people both in person and online. Using the same combination of healing music as the Memorial Sloan Kettering study, along with other recordings from the Healing Beyond Medicine series, these global events aim to contribute to peace and healing through the power of global community, positive human intention, and sound meditation. We were measuring the effect of this large group of people coming together to meditate on individual brain waves. I was struck by how deep and effective it was with such little practice. You have sound, it's very rhythmical. You have direct vocalization vibration connecting to your brainstem. And third, because everything is done with mantra and you're extending your exhalation for very long periods of time, you are lowering your breath rate in the brainstem, which by default will lower the rate of the heart. Without question, medical, mathematical and scientific research provides us with evidence that this combination of music, vowel sounds and tones has a tremendous healing impact upon the listener. This groundbreaking research transforms hope into healing. It offers us a glimpse into a future where we will be able to administer musical remedies just as we prescribe medicine today. This is just the beginning. You can help us share this healing breakthrough with the world. Get involved today. Be a part of the breakthrough.